What's going on? Nick from Capwise here with a quick overview of what a sports betting model is and how we at Capwise make ours. Before we get started, I want to say a couple things. First, be sure to check out our Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash cap underscore wise. That's twitch.tv slash C-A-P underscore W-I-Z-E. Also, be sure to join our Discord if you have not done so already. Links to both of those things can be found down in the description below. Lastly, if you find today's video useful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, generally speaking, a model is a way that we take certain pieces of data as inputs and use them to predict other pieces of data as outputs. In sports betting, the input data can take many forms, but is generally some sort of game, player, and or team level statistics from previous games. The output is typically some sort of sports betting outcome like a spread, total, or game score. The actual model is the process by which you take the inputs and turn them into the corresponding outputs. So there are many, many, many ways to make one of these sports betting models. Uh, but my personal philosophy when making a model for sports betting is to take each game uh, and break it down into its fundamental components. Modeling each of these components individually then allows us to build up a framework to combine them back together to arrive at the sports betting outcomes that we care about. Broadly speaking, we have two different types of frameworks that we at Capwise use. There are the game level frameworks such as college basketball and the play-by-play -play frameworks such as the one that we have for the National Football League. For a game level framework such as college basketball, the fundamental game pieces are each possession that occurs within a game. Uh, in college basketball, each possession can end with a certain number of points, anywhere from zero through four. And if you know how likely each of these possession outcomes are and how many possessions there will be in a game, uh, then you've got a good framework to combine those pieces back together and understand how a college basketball game will go. For a play-by-play -play framework like the NFL, the fundamental game pieces are actually the within-play decisions that happen every play. To start out, you have, is each play going to be a run or a pass? If the play is a run, you then have to figure out uh, which player is going to get each carry, and depending on the player, how many yards will be gained or lost on the play. If instead the play is a pass, you have to determine which player will be on the receiving end of the target. And then again, depending on the player, how likely is it that that target will be caught, incomplete, or intercepted? Uh, and then how many yards are gained or lost on the play? Incorporating these decisions into a framework that also takes into account other factors such as game score, down, distance, and time remaining within each game, uh, allows us to simulate NFL games from the opening kickoff down to the final whistle. Doing the simulations this way then also naturally allows us to generate player prop projections. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to either leave them down in the comment section below or reach out to one of us on Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.